always thought like, okay, you got a car wash, right? Mm-hmm. What's the next step? Because yeah. I was going to work on um, open up a uh, restaurant. But talking to my friends and stuff like that. And he's like, yo, the ventilation system and stuff can cost a lot of money, this and the third. So I was like, okay, what could complement a car wash? So like a barbershop, you know, because most mm-hmm. guys, you know, they go to the club on the weekends, they go get their haircuts, and yeah. they get the, you know, the car wash. Yep. So why not have a one-stop spot? So that's mm-hmm. how I came along. And um, I had a couple girls in there that worked. And one thing about when you have a vision, you see things through your own eyes. Yeah. Nobody else can see what you see. So I got a, some other plans I want to do. I'm not going to speak on them right now yeah. until it happens. But if I see something, I'm going to go for it. And then it's up to me to fail, you know? Um, like when the corona disease came out mm-hmm. and, you know, we had to shut down. But bills still had to get paid. Mm. Rent still had to get paid. Absolutely. And food still got get put on the table at my house. Yeah. So I made it happen. But, mm-hmm. you know, long story short than that, just make sure you always put money up. You know, you might have made $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 that week. Yeah. But just don't go spend two, three thousand $3,000 on clothes and all this other stuff messing, messing it up, you know? Yeah. Put that money up. Um, put it up. Because you might have some tough times in life and you might need to depend on that. Yeah. So I always thought like that, you know. You know, they, they showed me a lot of things, uh, what you should do, lighting and this and the third, getting mm. the vending machines and stuff like that, you know. But me running the business all by myself, the car wash and the barber shop, yeah, it's a lot. You know, some days I used to stay at the shop so I could clean the car wash, then run back up there and clean the um, barber shop, you know, make wow. sure everything, and then, you know, I'm burning myself out. <laughs> but it got to the point where, you know, when you bring the right people in, sometimes, you know, you don't have to tell them to clean up. They clean mm. up themselves, you know? Yeah. And that's what I like about, you know, my barber shop. If you ever sat back and watched the movie Barber Shop, I kind of feel like I'm Calvin, you know? <laughs> that was a good Seriously, movie, Seriously, yeah. man. Like, one day, <laughs> I, was, I was like, man, I'm fed up with the barber shop. I'm gonna turn it into a rib spot. Long story, but, um, I had watched the movie Barbershop. Mm-hmm. And that made me realize, like, wait a minute, man. That's her personality. This is who he is. That's who he is, you know. And at the end of the day, it all works out. Yeah. You know, when I'm going to work, I know I'm definitely coming home with some money. Yeah. You know, and definitely be able to take care of my kids and take care of business like I'm supposed to, as I see my father do it. Yeah. You know, uh, back in the day, my father used to take us to Wegmans, Jubilee, Tops. I used to go to Wilson Farm just to grab the bread and the eggs. Mm. You know, we used to, I seen him watch them spin cash, take care of the family as a man, be in the backyard, detailing his car. Mm. You know, with the music up loud. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about my father, man. You know, he kept his car clean. You get in the car, you touch his windows. Oh man, he's gonna be mad. <laughs>